Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Ari Saunders and I'm going to be helping you set up your domain and hosting today. Recently, major adult platforms like OnlyFans have left creators stumbling to figure out where to go next. When you're in this situation, it can leave you incredibly stressed out. So, what's better than having your own dedicated website where you host your links and you can even offer your videos for sale if you're willing to set up payment processing. This is a very basic process to set up, especially if you will only be using it for links. So let's get started. I already have a new product. I'm actually helping a local business set up a website. So I'm just going to use their domain to help you get set up. So before you do all this, you will need to purchase your domain. I highly recommend getting a domain name that is directly related to your professional porn name. For example, I'm Ari Saunders and my website is arisaunders.com. Now, if you're somebody who goes by a nickname or if you are creating a website not for your brand, but for, let's say, a coaching site or a startup site, do something that will be keyword rich and easy to remember. Try to avoid using things like hyphens and just nonsense that is hard to remember. Like if you spell something a different way than it's spelled. Unless you have notoriety and brand recognition, most people won't remember that it's spelled a different way. So just focus on being as memorable as possible. Once you do that, you will want to buy your domain. I highly recommend if you're buying your domain through GoDaddy that you download Honey. I'm not even going to throw my referral link in here because I just think Honey's great and I want to give them the free promo. It is a free Google Chrome plugin that will automatically search for promo codes and apply them to your purchases. With this tool, I actually was able to score one of my domains for only a dollar for the first year. Domains come with a lot of different plans. You can choose between one, two, five, and ten years. Depending on how long you think you will be in the industry, you can buy a domain and potentially save money. The longer you buy, the bigger discount you get. Also, when you buy your domain, you will be prompted for things like domain privacy protection and other things like that. You don't need to sign up for these things. Google Suites has a fantastic mailing service that you can use. And as long as you set up your GoDaddy account with your professional name, and if you'd like to, also a P.O. box or a fake address, you won't really be at risk of getting doxxed. It's very hard for people to find anything to begin with. And if they are able to find anything, having it set to maybe your local post office as the address could be helpful. In addition, GoDaddy never sends mail, so you don't have to worry about GoDaddy sending random mail to your house or anything. All right, so now that you've bought your domain name, we're going to head in to your products and we're going to click on it. Once you get to this page, it's going to prompt you. Do you want to forward to an existing web page, build a website easily, choose the best website builder for you? Now, since you're going to be doing outside hosting, we're just going to head straight over to your domain settings. Once that loads up, you will find that you have a lot of different things that you can do here. It will show your contact information, your privacy settings, and things like that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to head over to your preferred hosting platform. For me, that is HostGator.com. While you don't have to use HostGator, this will work well with any hosting platform, I highly encourage you to read the terms of service and make sure that what 
whatever it is that you are getting hosting on is adult friendly. It can be possible that your site can go down if you don't ensure that it's an adult friendly host. Now that you're there, <laughs> we're going to head over and we're going to find our hosting package. If you haven't bought a hosting package already, there are a lot of different plans that you can get. I'm personally most familiar with HostGator, so I'm going to talk to you about those plans. There's the Hatchling plan, the Baby plan, and the Business plan. You can get any of these plans that you think would suit you. Depending on your popularity, you should know a guesstimate of what kind of traffic you'll be receiving on your site, and you can plan accordingly with that. For example, my personal website, arysaunders.com, I have on a business plan because I sell products on my site and I cannot afford to have downtime. I also find it very important important for my pages to load fast so that my customers don't experience any delays. Meanwhile, the local business website that I'm setting up doesn't anticipate that they will be getting too much traffic, and if anything, it's going to be more of a directory-style site that doesn't support on-site purchases. So, we sign them up for the baby plan. If you use Honey, it also works over here on HostGator and will automatically search for promo codes to save you money. It's definitely a handy plugin to have. Now that you've decided what hosting you're going to be getting, we are going to head over and launch our cPanel. Your cPanel is where you're going to find the important information that you need in order to get your domain hosted. So you will see here on the right side of your cPanel, NS1 and NS2 under your DNS. You are going to take these links and head back over to GoDaddy and click Manage DNS. Once you do that, you should see something that says name servers. You are going to want to change these name servers out with the name servers provided to you by HostGator or whatever hosting service you are using. This is super, super important because when you initially buy your domain, it is being hosted by GoDaddy. That means if people type in your URL, it's going to take them to a GoDaddy landing page until you either connect it to your host or set up domain forwarding. Domain forwarding can be useful for people that are interested in only forwarding the domain to a site that they prefer. This is great if you don't have technical skills or don't really want to invest the time into setting up your own personal website. You can forward your domain to any domain that you want. Some people use this to forward to all my links or other link hosting platforms. Other people will forward it directly to their main clip or cam site. In order to do that, you would go here to forwarding and set it up. But if you'll be building your own website, then you just need to change these name servers out and then you are ready to go on setting up your website. I personally would recommend that everybody use WordPress. WordPress has a fantastic user-friendly system with lots of plugins and is a great community-oriented platform. They really have wonderful tools that make things super quick and easy to get you up and going quickly. Now, this same cPanel page where you found your name servers will also be where you can get started downloading WordPress, and it is free. So all you're going to do is search WordPress, and here in software, you're going to see the WordPress Manager by Softaculous. This is a free WordPress installation service that will install WordPress for you directly onto your domain. As you can see here, I've already got mine set up, but if you were to have your first time install, you would go here, click install, you would choose the domain that you're installing it on, 
the version you want to install, it will automatically default to the newest, which is what you want to do because WordPress is constantly updating to increase security. So you're going to make sure that's the most recent. Here you're going to put your site name and your site description. This will be customizable later in your theme customization menu. But as for right now, you can either leave this as it is or you can set it up if you know what you want the name and description to be. You can also select plugins to download that will make things easier like limiting logins, the classic editor, and managing multiple WordPress accounts. I personally prefer the classic editor on my per you can also pick a theme here, but once again, it's totally not necessary as you will be able to do this later directly from your dashboard. Once you select all of the options and set up your username, password, preferred email, you're going to install the WordPress. You can also email installation details to yourself just to make sure that you know when it's up and running. After you install WordPress, it does take a few hours for it to be updated and syndicated online. Meaning, when you try to go and log into WordPress and visit your site, it's not going to be up for a while. Potentially a few hours, possibly a few days. It really depends on how long it takes for the system to syndicate your site. So after you do this, I would recommend waiting a day or two before planning to sit down and actually design your website. Now that we're to this point, this will be a series of videos, so make sure that you tune in for the next one where I show you how to log into your WordPress, how to edit things on your site, and important plugins that you should consider getting. Thank you for watching, and I hope this helped.